uh, I think we have about five minutes for questions if there are a couple questions. Tim? the green state or are you also including the central bank or state? You don't include the central bank. Uh, we, we, did, we did. We did. You do not include the central bank. Just uh, gen, we did general government. General government. Yes. I actually just have a general question that's also related to Mario's thing. There was this idea that one would force Greece to take accounts. I don't think that's going to work because of what George said. People on top need to want this to happen. Um, also, I think the people on the bottom need to want this to happen. I, 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 I just a question. What I've studied the actual implementation of Price Waterhouse Cooper both in Greece and uh, in Cyprus over the past hundred years, um, it's, and it hasn't been very strong compared to other countries. I, I, I do find it remarkable that the private sector hasn't invested more in um, doing general education campaigns. Um, literally just a professionals, just to create people out there who know how to do the basic work. Um, and I think that's a challenge that Greece faces. Um, I also know from its history that when governments have been faced with these same challenges, they have themselves started to train, it's very expensive, but to train for the people within the government to be able to manage these things, um, to be able to do their accounting. So I'm, I'm just sort of surprised though that PwC hasn't actually you know, I would assume it's in their interests and the private sector to start pushing the education and the creation of the core of local accounts. It's not, you can't, you know, if the EU comes and says you have to do this, no Greek is going to want to do that. So I just don't understand why there isn't sort of movement within inside this accounting community in Greece. And I hope that's not too possible. I'm just like, I'm just wondering. <coughs> Well, um, first of all, first of all, I agree that the accounting profession is not as strong in Greece is not as strong as it should be for a developed country. Uh, but we should bear in mind that until, let's say, 20 years ago, it, it was not uh, in, in the private sector. It was uh, um, all, all the those were belonged to it were public sector uh, employees. Uh, so the, the the profession liberalized about 20 years ago. International firms uh, came into Greece uh, back then. In the beginning, we were, the international firms were only had account, um, as clients the, the subsidiaries of foreign international companies. Uh, so in the last 20 years, it's been developing, and, uh, and the, the, the big four accounting firms uh, are investing a lot. They we're doing our own training. We, we train our people to become qualified accountants, uh, because also the, the Greek accounting standards was not uh, it, it was mostly driven by tax rules, and uh, it was uh, it, it, it was quite um, uh, common in Greece to have audit reports with qualifications, a number of qualifications, because the, the companies were not complying with the accounting standards; they, they were complying with the tax rules. So we had certain qualifications. Now it's not the case because since 2005, uh, because of EU regulation, Greece has adopted international financial reporting standards, and that, that has been a revolution for the Greek accounting profession. And uh, so, as I said, the big four are training people to become ACCA or AC ACA, which is the British qualification. And now, in the last few years, the Greek um, accounting profession has done um, joint uh, uh, agreements with ICAW and also ACCA to, to train people. So this is actually now, I think, we see the process of training people and getting accountants into the market. And this is important for the Greek economy because it's, it's like a school. People that get trained through our firms, they, 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 they get accustomed to these international uh, standards and professional standards, and then they, they move out and work into the industry. So that's an important process that needs to take place. And I take your point that this is not as, as developed as it should have been. James point, which I have been thinking a lot about, and I think it's tremendously important. So it, effectively what you see in Greece, it's almost like no private sector, no business leaders actually raising the board and discussing about those things. It's actually quite different from what is happening in this country, what happened with Lord's Revolution, right? What happened in Mauritius, what happened to all these countries where actually business leaders 
was to a certain degree uh, created uh, a voice <coughs> and a platform to change many of those institutions. And I think for me, the distinction is because between um, what they have been described as inclusive and extractive institutions, and still Greece is dominated by extractive institutions to a large extent. And when you have those type of both political and economic institutions, then the private sector is either silent or is actually playing a counter to that role. And I think that, that you know that distinction <coughs> help us understand what's going on in, in my opinion. And that does not apply not only to the audit profession, but more broadly to what's the role of the private sector in solving some of those solutions. Are you preparing just the balance sheet or does it come with um, the disclosures that you would typically expect in uh, financial statements like uh, sensitivity analysis maybe for the, 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 the next step would be a full balance sheet with what goes and a full set of financial statements because they really need to work together and you need all three to do it properly. But what we wanted was a starting point. We want to show that it's possible and we want to show that there is a reasonable way to do it in a reasonable amount of time. So that means that's obviously the next step. Maybe the light wants to, uh, to help. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a very high level first, yeah, first yeah, attempt, yeah, that's a, that's a balance sheet. I mean, uh, it, obviously it needs more work to, to do proper uh, balance sheet and disclosure notes. And yeah, yeah. Assumptions in the calculation. This is just an open yeah, yeah. estimate. You need to start somewhere. We, we, uh, sorry, I think we got to move on here uh, to stay on time. Thank you.